Good morning, everyone. I want to get on here and say thank you so much for the subscribes and the views and the comments and just everything. I think it's so awesome that there's this little YouTube community that I didn't, I mean, I knew that was out there, didn't know they would be part of my life. So thank you so much. So what I'm going to show you today is how to remove the eyelashes or how I remove them. Again, I'm not saying that anyone should do this, sharing my experience. So again, try to stay positive in the comments, but if you're being um, helpful and have things to tell other viewers about the risks and things, I do leave those ones up because I think it's important for everyone to know that. Okay, and then I'll put the time when I actually start removing them right here because I know some of you don't like when I talk. <laughs> so it'll be right here if you want to fast forward. Um, otherwise, I'm going to keep talking. So with these lashes, you can tell they're not as dramatic as the previous video because these are B curl and I'll try to do a video of me placing these ones. I did 12s on the outside all the way to 8s in the inside. And um, I actually didn't go all the way in or all the way out. Um, so I did a little bit less on the set for just a very soft look. Um, also when I do the outer corners of my lashes, those are the ones that tend to fall out faster because when I am just resting, they do smash into my lower ones here, and those lashes in those areas are kind of crisscross, so they're a little wonky and they don't stick very well. So those are the first ones to go. But yeah, like I said, I went swimming, went river rafting, went to a wedding, so there was light makeup on them. Of course, I had some falling out, but for the most part, I'm still happy with the result. I would still keep them, but I owe you guys a video, so I'm going to remove them. So first thing you're going to do is just carefully place a little eye patch here and it's not really to hold down my lashes, um, it's more that I don't want the gel remover to get on my skin. Um, it doesn't really burn my skin but I'm sure it can't be good for it and then you definitely don't want to get this stuff in your eyes. So this is what I'll be using and I'll link everything. Um, I am actually wanting to find a different one because you have to do this one multiple times. It says leave it on your lashes for three to five minutes, but in my experience I've had to, excuse me, repeat the process a couple of times, which is okay, it just takes a little bit longer. So, um, these are one week old, can you see better like this, or one week old eyelashes, kind of hard to bring you down. And to answer some of your questions, I did go swimming with them. It's just super important to wait until they're fully dry, so that 12 to 24 hour mark, and I think I started swimming at about the 12 mark, exactly. Okay, so from here what you want to do is make sure you have everything ready. Um, the eye patches that I'm using are these ones, and I'm hoping because I have some bags right now from sleeping and just in general I just always have them. Um, these are supposed to help with those as well. So you're gonna take your micro brushes. Oh, and I bit my lip river rafting, so in case you see that. Mm -hmm. Hope it's clear. So you're gonna get these saturated. Now once you start this process, do not open the eye that you are working on. You will burn yourself. 100% you will burn yourself if you open your eye. <laughs> Okay, so then you're going to just get it saturated on the tops and on the bottoms. Okay, so these are pretty saturated. And I'm just going to wait for a few minutes and then I will come back and still continue brushing through them with the micro brushes. Okay, so now we're playing the waiting game. Three to five minutes and like I said, a lot of times you'll have to do this multiple times. So I'm going to use two new micro brushes. <laughs>
try to do a video putting these ones back on the bee curl because I actually like them but they're a lot less dramatic if you guys can tell and I have not tried hybrid or volume lashes I don't think I'm at that level yet I bought this stuff too and the special tweezers to flatten it out and make fans so that's the only thing I've been practicing but not confident enough yet to actually put them on If I were to like put water or wipe everything down now, you would see a bunch of white. Uh, it would be like the adhesive getting hard again and it turns white. Okay, now I'm going to show you what's kind of looking gross right now, but what's been normal um, every time I remove them. See this stuff here? So that's like clumps of the glue. You can see it kind of on the eyelashes too. Okay, you guys, so we're almost there. I did use some tweezers and my magnifying mirror to help get the clumps of glue out. Um, and then everything else seems to just be sliding out right now. And for those of you who think my eye was gonna like burst into flames when I put my eyelash extensions on, we haven't yet. So, but thanks for the update and the heads up. I had one commenter say she hopes that I go blind because I'm a stupid bitch who should not do my own eyelashes. I was like, oh, whoa! <laughs> Delete. <laughs> it's crazy. Let's be positive. We're all learning and sharing, and life is about experiencing different things and taking risks, right? And yes, some risks are dumber than others, but that's why they're called risks. Okay, so I took off the thing, but I'm pretty happy with the removal now, so now I'm going to wipe everything down. Okay, so, um, remove this eye, a little bit of redness there from rubbing it. Um, if you can take a look, there are some white specks of glue still on there so what I'm going to do is one more round of the gel remover here is what we're looking at as the finished result for my natural lashes so before to be honest I'm super surprised that they lasted through all my water adventures. But yeah, nice and healthy. Might throw some vitamin E oil on them just to coat them. But yeah, this is how I remove them. Again, take caution with everything we do. Now I have to hurry up and take this one off because I gotta go to work. Okay guys, so <clears throat> completely done. Um, oh, my hair still a mess. But here's after. No bald spots, still healthy. Still working on my technique. So once I maybe find a better gel remover, then I'll definitely do an updated video. But this is what I do for now. Uh, it takes a good 45 minutes from start to finish just to make sure you get all the glue and all the little flakies off. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Give me ideas. I'm actually thinking of doing my own lash, lash lift because I got the little um, packet and my best friend actually did and she had really good results. So I think that I will try that next for you guys. All right, thank you again so much for watching. Leave me comments, um, questions, ideas for next videos. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you all so much. Bye, have a great day.